back in Maritime. And I think what we are going to do, we're going to do a few different things, possibly. Uh, look at this. Killed a couple of raiding parties, I think, with this last update patch. 1.60.3... Hey, 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 peppers. I need peppers still. 1.60.3. I think they changed a few things because suddenly I'm getting mobs in here where there shouldn't be any mobs due to the lighting. Lady, come back. Come back. Lady. She's not even going to have any pepper seeds, is she? Hiya. Oh, shit. Almost got her. Tomatoes. What's this? Pineapple. Come on, lady. I need peppers. Peppers. Red peppers. So anyway, yeah, we're going to work on this bridge over here. For the most part. Let me gather up some things. So the nice crops going. Oh yeah, I need more dragon fruit too. She didn't have any of those. This lady over here, what's her name? Ant Sprout? She has them, but... I don't think those things are, I don't think those NPCs are properly refreshing their, um, their trees. I think maybe that might be a little issue with that. Aha! This is the bridge. This is what I got so far. So, oh shit, I'm missing a bit here. Do I have any? Dang it. So basically what I'm trying to get going on here is that the bridge the main part of the the bridge is built on these two by two uh spruce and then they're held up by the two by two jungle like those are the big parts so then this is supposed to look like it's carved out here so that we can put our planks across uh probably gonna go with some birch planks just to give it some nice contrast uh we're gonna put a fence across it um, we fill out the pillar situation every, what's the books, I want to roof it as well. Uh, I don't think stone sat on wood is going to look good. What's up? What's up, boyos? I don't have my bucket. Damn it, I need milk in case we get some more raiders. Um, sun going down. So I'm probably going to do like some kind of metal trap door action over here to make it look like it's bolted together. Uh, we're going to do one in the middle too. This way it looks like it's like uh, not some one gigantic long trunk. And then we also put some uh, anchorage down at the bottom, some supports with uh, just some plain old cobblestone just to make it look like it's heavily supported, I'm not going to go anywhere. So I'm going to go gather some ingredients and fix this little bit here. And we will get back to it. Aha! Ingredients. Got some birch. Change of plan. We're going to use this maple log because we like the coloring. We'll just gather up some more of that. We'll put this away. And we'll get some more of that stuff. Alright, well. I got a bunch of stuff here. Brown dye, paper, nuggets, iron nuggets. You know what? I think I need more iron. And I'm missing a piece of redstone that I need. But, uh, I think... We sh oh, Shit. Wait, what did I forget? Um, what color do we want to make the roof? Is what we need to figure out.
Just get a bit more of this nugs. Iron. See this bench over here. Shingle. I think we'll go with this dark. So we're gonna need our lime dye. Not too bad, not too bad. We're not gonna have any profit though. Terracotta. Oh shit, we had a ton of terracotta. How to make green terracotta? Okay, well, I'm back. Got a few more things. I wasn't sure what I needed. So we got some green dye. We're gonna make some green terracotta for the roofs, uh, green shingles for the roofs, which we need terracotta. And I brought some stuff to make the terracotta, but I didn't realize that I had this plain terracotta over there in another box. I also had some green dye, but I made more just in case. I don't think I'm gonna need that much for it. Um, I didn't realize I had this terracotta. I wouldn't have needed all this other stuff that I brought over. But I think... Is that enough sticks? Let's go get those sticks. We might need them. Okay. Uh, aha. Let's just grab all of this. Give me this right here real quick. I just want to do something real quick. I didn't like the way that that uh, soul sand was just hanging, hanging out. So I, I like to have covered in with this wall here. So we just have two less spaces there. That's okay. I don't use soul sand all that much. So this is kind of what I'm looking at with the pillar design. And then we'll put fences here. And then... We have put fences there. And then we're going to have something else going on there. How often do we want it, though? So for here, I think we were trying to do something like... Wait, will that work? First of all, let's, let's do this. Just realized I came over here with no coal. Yep. One of these mine carts here. So, my first plan of action was to go like this. Cook up three of these. Not those. Three of these. 
Okay, should be done. Let's check. Good. Now we can make our jammy. This is called the grinder. So we'll place the grinder right here. And with this, we can do nothing. Oh, we can make snow out of ice. We can make red sand out of... Out of red sandstone. We can grind that down. We can use regular sand stone to make sand and we can make gravel out of that white block so we here nothing nothing and then over here we can make clay out of dirt which is what we were gonna do orange concrete powder out of red sand black concrete powder out of regular sand and cobblestone out of regular stone which is kinda interesting and I guess so you don't have to use durability, maybe. All right, and then what else we're gonna do? We were gonna take that grinder. See, we do, we can also put, doesn't show it here, but you can also put a piece of flint in there. I don't have a piece of flint. You can put a piece of flint in there and it'll give you a, a, a gunpowder. I don't know why it doesn't show that. All right, I got a flint. So let's see if this works. Maybe it's not working. Yeah, see, a flint gives a gunpowder. Mm. Beautiful. But we can also get a gunpowder from a coal and a redstone. Mm. It'll give us two gunpowder as well. So yeah, we already got our terracotta here, so we don't need to go through all that. So let's get some dye going. Let's see how much we can make. We can make this green terracotta. What the hell? Come on, I'm in the crafting bench. Give me my green terracotta. Okay, that gives us that amount. Let's put the rest away, and unless we need it. So that's the green stuff. So then we take that and we go back in here and make this stuff. Haha. -ha. Right, now we're gonna take, let's see, let's take 32, put this away, make, oh, we're definitely gonna need more of that, definitely gonna need more of that, let's, uh, that's definitely not gonna be enough. away for now just for the momo just for the momo so we got five across here and then the fence will be here but we'll have this extra runner here do we want to do that in a different color a plank I'll be right back Okay, I'm back again, and I got some more items, not this gold ingot, oh, this, give me this for this, cook that up, um, cobblestone I found thrown out somewhere, so I just picked it up for the heck of it, uh, 
Let's just stash this here. Got some white dye. Got some ink sacks. Disappear. Uh, there's a reason why we're doing this. Hold on one second. Put this away. Put this away. Put that away. Put that away. Hold on to this. And this. Okay, we don't need that. We're going to make more of this stuff. Light gray wood planks. Where's our broom? I'm going to go right over here. Over here. And, oh, first we got to make the dye. Great dye. That's what we can make is 38. We're going to go to this one. The painting table. And now we are going to use our gray dye to make gray dye planks. Why can't I make gray dye planks? Oh, I need light gray. Shh. Dumbass. Light gray. Now we want, yeah. Now we go into the painting table, go to planks, and look like gray wood planks. Just get as many as we can. That's it. Okay, so hopefully that's enough for that. Just, just, just to be a decorative bit. So let's shoot back over. So let's get a bunch of these going first. We're gonna do all of this first. So this is gonna be like so. No. Who said that? Was that a fox? Let's see how this looks. Yeah, I like it. I think I like that. Okay, so I'm going to do that the whole way down. Or as much as I can, anyway. How much of these do we have? Yeah. Aha! Look at this! We got peppers! Give me peppers! Well, we're back. Did a lot of stuff here. Uh, I grew some more jungle trees so that I could make some uh, more pillars over here in the middle. And I also wanted to make some, these things called beams. So you can look down here. See these things here? These are called beams. Uh, I forget what mod pack they're with. Add-on pack. But you got your jungle, jungle log beam over there. And then you got your spruce log beam over here. So those are there. Uh, basically to look like supports without having to use the old stick of uh, the upside down step. Those can only be put that way. You can't put them upside down. So you can't put them like on the bottom. Which is kind of eh. So I had to do all that. I had to go find my lone moss block. Does this guy have moss? I need more moss. Yo, my guy, you got moss? Uh, oh, you got moss. Give me. Thank you. Yeah, so I had a couple pieces of moss, and I grew a couple more with some bone meal so that I can make these mossy, mossy jungle log blocks. Give me my thing back. 
Yes, because you can't use vines because it's moss. You know, like the, the pack uses moss blocks. It makes sense, right? Because it's moss. It's a mossy log. Should use moss and not uh, vines. But I had to make that. I had to do that. I had to grow more of these jungle wood. Uh, not jungle wood. Spruce wood. So I can make these cross beams. And make the jungle wood. Um, I mean, make the uh, spruce wood. Uh, make the spruce wood beams. So we can do that. So like this is what I'm talking about here. So like on the top, you would use the, the beams. But on the bottom, you wouldn't be able to. But this is maple wood. So maple wood, we don't have those kind of beams. Because maple wood's like a completely separate add-on. So we'll have to use the steps for that. Thank you very much. Okay, there you have it. The floor is fully done. Shut up. Shut your face. Okay, now we're gonna do these pillars, but we're gonna first start with... Need all of this. Lose this. We don't need that right now. Whoops, give me that. Fortune. That shouldn't even be out. That should be in here. Changed out the tops of the uh, uh, jungle, jungle trunks, beams, leg supports, things, and f so that kind of looks like it. It's interlocking, like a joint, and then I put these. These are. Are these the ones? Light gray crimson trapdoors. In these spots, in these spots. This way, it looks like it's. Instead of one long giant trunk of spruce, it's uh, three, you know, like three joined trunks together. And these are like the brackets that hold it together. Uh, oh, I also got this stuff. What was that noise? Is that them? So I wanted to, um... Just draw a couple in there like that, just way it looks, you know. And we could also... One there, this corner one maybe, maybe both of these, and that one. I change those to moss. There we go. A little bit better. We'll have to do the same on the other side. I also did a bit of landscaping over here. I added some more land over here. I pulled this back a little bit, added more land over here, cleaned this up down here a little bit as well. Made some pathways to connect. So therefore we got some space to build. It's a little bit cleaner. We can think about what we want to put here a little bit better. So I think we'll try with the spruce. Um, and we'll make it hang over, like so. Alright, so I'll do like a little, this, this test 
part first. I won't do the whole thing. Oh, because I stood on that? Are we hanging off? Here, yeah, wait a minute. Bob? Oh, wait, yeah. Sorry. Specialty slabs. So whenever you're doing specialty slabs, as in slabs from an add-on, you have to look down to put them down and to put them on the up blocks. If I try to put it at the top, it puts it at the bottom. So I have to look up to put it on the up spot, say, like so. Oh wait, I can't put it there. Oh no, we wouldn't do it like that. Because it would look weird. We'd have to keep this like this. This would stick out though. what we want to do here. Or did we want to... If we go up, we could do like that. Um, Too high. Hmm.
Nah, uh, there's too much, too much weird like gaps. Probably gonna lead a not but need a lot more terracotta for shingles. All right, then it was on top of this one. Then the gap. All right. that I'll show you do a block Oh, that just gave me another idea. Hmm. That just gave me another idea. So I think over here what we should probably do is take these, right? Yeah, I like you, Daddy. I like it. What if we do this? Oh, that looks pretty cool. All right. And then there we're going to put a step. Of gray. Step of gray. Yeah, that'll stay gray. See what we got going on here. Oh, you know what? I think I kind of like that. Really 
actually think I kind of like that. Okay, so now... Because we don't want these torches here. So what we're going to do is we're going to make some lanterns. But we're not going to make just any old lanterns. We are going to make paper lanterns. Let's get rid of a lot of this bunk. Orange paper lanterns. 28 of those we just made. Needed iron nuggets, paper, and sticks to make a paper lantern. Oddly enough, no coal. The cool thing about the paper lanterns, though, is this. They make particles. I love it. I love particles. Particles! But we don't want orange. Instead, we're going to make the dye of the brown. And we're going to make brown paper lanterns. I know it didn't look like much of a difference, right? Let's see. No, that's too low. See, or we could do it like in the corners. Oh no, those are gonna have a. Uh... Stop it, dude. Stop messing up your own build. Aha! So I wanna see what that's gonna look like in the nighttime. In the meantime, I had another idea. I had another idea. I had another idea. Hmm, I'm missing something here. Do it like that, or we can go like this. Which looks better? This kind of doesn't make it look like they're meeting. It looks like they kind. It's kind of crookedy. This one looks more straight, like the two levers are meeting, going towards each other more, in a straight line. Well, this looks like it's kind of. This is going downward, and this is going this way, and that it's not going straight across. We're gonna stick with that style, for that. Diagonal iron chain. What goes to the top of the block? I don't like that, man.
That looks dumb. Damn, what can I put here? To the edge of the block. How can I do this? Let's see. Did I not have a tripwire hook somewhere for the damn freaking? <coughs> Here we go. Linkable rail cars. Let's see what this looks like. I can't do such things as these. Could do it like that. That kind of looks okay. Huh. That'll work. I can deal with that. that it's at the edge. I wish I could turn that around. But it wouldn't. Hmm. I gotta find something to cover that up as well. Dang, I went to sleep and I didn't check to see what this looks like, right? Yeah, I kind of think that's the design we're gonna go for. I have to make some more of these arches, but I think I have to make those. Can I make those here? Beams. Nope, I have to go to the other bench. Okay, anyway. So I think... This is what we're going to go for. I'm going to go ahead and fill this out the rest of the way, all the way across. And we'll come back when that's done. Because I'm probably going to have to... By the looks... I might have to refresh some of our materials... To do so. But, I think... That's going to be, I think that's going to be my design. Okay, we'll catch in a bit. So I got to make more of these um, arches, not arches, uh, beams. All right. So to do that, we have to come over to this workbench. This is a workbench and not a, a work crafting table like uh, this vanilla one is. Did I just break my vine? Shit. So, yeah, so the same maker makes this. This is from Medieval Furniture. This is Medieval Furniture. This is Complement Doors. And this is... Uh, colorful blocks. So this is the painting table. This is the carpentry table, and then this is the uh, crafting bench 
three different add-ons made by the same author. Uh, the complement doors also has, I think it's called more trap doors. It's another add-on that gives you more trap doors, but it uses the same uh, crafting table. The only problem I'm having right now is that I'm just waiting on an update for this particular one because the uh, doors themselves are bugged. Instead of placing a top half and a bottom half of a door, like you would see here, you know, like a bottom block and a top block, it's giving a very tiny uh, full-size door texture for both the bottom and the top. So instead of this full-size texture, you're looking at two little teeny tiny door textures floating in the middle, full-size doors, one on top of the other. When the door opens and closes, it looks fine. It's only when it's in the uh, staying still state that they're bugged. So uh, the, the maker knows and is working on that. Um, trap doors work okay. The doors on th this seem to work okay. Somebody's texting me. Uh, I have to make a door and see, make sure it's, it's uh, working all right. Do we have a die? Do we have any, any of the colored wood? Wood, 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 wood? We do not. I'll have to test that out later. Ooh, it's getting dark. So I have to test that out to make sure that these are working as well. Uh, these would be just oak doors, I think. Oh, no, I could paint spruce doors too. Oh, so I got to check these to make sure. I think it's because the... Uh, some of the blocks have an animation, meaning that, like, here's, here's a for instance. See how when you open and close it, it's just instantly open, instantly closed. So I think the uh, doors, the specialty doors from here have an animation where they look like they're swinging open rather than just suddenly being open. But anyway, so we got to go in here, this workbench. There's also, like, a knife, a handsaw that I had to make to to which was part of the ingredients to make the workbench itself but supposedly the handsaw you can use to, to change the the, the the face of some of the blocks without having to break them and replace them but look at all this stuff i just remembered that there was all these extra fences in here that we could try out for the uh, bridge wanted spruce wood beams 60 let's just make a few more Two, two stacks ish. These are sort of 40. Alright, that's good. I was hoping I didn't have to cut down more trees. Phew. Alright. At the last minute, I decided to change up the uh, maple fences with these uh, acacia wood fence number zero. They look a lot. Uh, a little bit more, I want to say medievally. They fit the bridge a little bit more. I like the coloring. Just another slight, slightly different gray color, which adds into it. It doesn't have that generic vanilla uh, fence look. The only diff thing with the add-on fences is they're usually purely just decorative. They don't actually act like fences because you can see you can just jump like right on them. Like, if you have, like, a regular, like, these, you know, you can't jump over these. Come over here and jump over these. But otherwise, I like the way they look. So they're fine for this. They don't need, they're not trying to keep mobs out of here. Mobs are not going to be trying to climb, you know, come from the open air over there. So we got our lights up. We got our... Skylights in our support chains and levers and stuff to make it look like just added support to hold up this big monstrosity. I put some uh, stone buttons around, as you can see over there, just to you know give it a little bit dexterous, so just not like like a bare log end hanging off.
took a lot longer than, and a lot more resources than I thought it would. Jeez Louise. But I really, really, really like the way it came out. I like the look of it. It feels like something you would see out in the country somewhere up in the mountains. And you'd have to drive your car over it. Ye old covered bridge. Alright, so there you go. There's our bridge. Our bridge to nowhere at the moment. So, I'm going to clean all this up right here. Get rid of all this. Uh, and off camera. Yeah, off camera. I am going to, let's see, I'm going to make a way down to get to here, from up here. I'm going to clean up all this over here, so that this all blends together and it's cleaned up nice and goes up to, to the, uh, where the tunnel is up there. Clean that up a bit, set that up. Get some walkway going around on the outside of that. Just to connect those two halves. Maybe get some walkway going down here at the shoreline. To match up with that. You know, a little bit like that. I'll do a few things. So yeah, I'll probably add a few houses. I'll do a little bit more terraforming. I'll, you know, like I'll do more of this kind of like landscaping and town planning so that we have more plots and more uh, ways to plan. You know, like, you know, in other words, it'll give us more ideas because then we could say, okay, look, this looks like a plot for a house. This looks like a plot for a house or something. We could put something over here. You know, once you start dividing it up, then you start to see, you know, do I want elevation? Do I want it to stick out? Do I want to build it into the mountain? You know, stuff like that. We'll do a lot of, a little bit. I want to do some uh, landscaping on the other side of this with it, where the, where the actual other houses are to fix that up. I want to get this down here. The pathway down there. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Staircase up there. And so on and so far. So between that episode and this episode and that episode, I'll do a bunch of shit. You'll probably see these trees in different positions and whatnot. And uh, start adding some rails. I also want to work on the uh, skelly spawner that's down next. I definitely need some arrows and I would like some bone. Definitely would like some bone. So anyway, you know, let's have a look at the lighting before we go. Yeah, I like that. I like it. See, these are not too bright. But they give just enough to... To, to keep... Uh, Bad guys from spawning. Let's take a let's take a picture. Let's do F1 mm. first. Get rid of that. Kind of like the lighting. Let's do like that. Oh, shit. I'm out. Later on, guys. Have a good night. <laughs>